Hey guys, it's your girl Disastrous Beauty and I am coming to you with another wig review. The unit I am wearing today was sent to me by Elva, Eva Wigs. <laughs> E-L-V-A week. So I want to say thank you so much for sending me this gorgeous unit. If you're not already subscribed, before we even get into this wig review, honey, if you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button. I promise you will not be disappointed. If you are already subscribed, I do appreciate your love and support. If you're not already following me on all my social media platforms, I am Disastrous Beauty on both IG and Facebook. I am Hell to Miss C on Snapchat and I'm Disastrous B on Twitter. Now, but let's get into this wig review. Now... I did do things a little bit different. Uh, I already styled the unit and stuff, and you guys will see that. I have, I do have the clips from of that, so no worries. <laughs> this is just a bit of an intro to tell you a little bit about the company. Um, the wig did come in a box with the name of the company around it. Then once inside of the, once you open up the wig box, the first thing you're going to see is the wig, and it's in that little in this little plastic that you guys are seeing okay first the next thing you're gonna see is like a hair net thing uh after that is uh a little piece of paper with different uh youtubers on it <laughs> different youtubers on it that have basically reviewed hair from this company okay the next thing that we have is like a brochure and on this brochure it tells you about the company enterprise positioning enterprise values enterprise mission enterprise core value so uh it also has on there a bunch of pictures of different wigs from this company and it says how to care for wigs from them uh it tells you a little bit about the hairline and so yeah i really like this wig i like i like the hair everything the hair looks really really nice uh, this unit, the cap construction, it does come with four cones, which I thought was really, really cool. And the placement of the cones are phenomenal. There's literally a comb in the back, two combs on the side, and one comb, hold on, there's one comb in the front, two on the side, and one in the back. And it does come with adjustable straps. I don't know if you guys have noticed, this unit is a, a 360 wig, which means you have lace all around the perimeter. If you want to wear this unit up, you'll be able to put it up in a ponytail because <laughs> It's 360, okay? It's 360. So, I thought that was really uh, cool. Yeah, I really don't have much else to say about this unit. So, I guess you guys can get into watching me how, to see how I achieve this look, okay? This intro is already four minutes. It's already too long. So, to get to watch me achieve this look with this unit, please stay tuned, okay? <music>
Okay, y'all. I really, really like this wig. I like that it is a 360 unit. I think the hair is really, really nice. If you guys didn't notice while I was recording the video, I was running my fingers through the hair with no problem. I did receive a little bit of shedding here and there, but that's that's no biggie. Uh, I think I did use a little bit of too much product. Uh, it feels fine, but I do feel like I used a little bit of product. Uh, too much, too much product. <laughs> um... Yeah, but I love the unit. The hairline, uh, I thought it was going to be a pre-flux unit. And it, it was, but it, to do the baby hairs and the look that I wanted, I did have to tweeze the part in a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I really like this wig, y'all. I like that it, it has all of this parting space. As you guys can see, I parted it all the way, a deep side part. Like, you get a lot of parting space. Now, I did not bleach the inside of this wig. Instead, I applied my foundation. And, where's my, and my pressed powder. So, my NYX can't stop, won't stop. And my NYX stay matte but not flat pressed powder. I applied the foundation first. Then, I applied the powder on top of it. And that's all I did, like on the inside. Uh, everything else, you guys basically saw what I did. Uh, this wig doesn't need a whole lot of work, but it does need a little tender love and care, you know, with most units, especially human units. I've noticed it's, you have to put in a little bit more work. Uh, you can wear it in that natural, poofy state. I did. I have done the other wigs, human hair wigs that I have with the natural look, and I wanted this to give me more of a, a wet, straight out of the shower look you know <laughs> so all i did was apply water and apply this uh sleek and shine by fruities <clears throat> big hat friendliness this wig is big hat friendly so that is always a plus always a plus the unit is big hat friendly uh i honestly can't think of anything else that i need to say about this unit let me give you guys a full 360 and we can wrap this thing up so this is obviously the unit in the front This is it on the left side. This is it in the back. And this is it on the right side. <laughs> like I was saying, I really like this hair. I think it is definitely pretty. I'm not 100% sure of the pricing, but I will have a direct link to it down below in the description box. So if you guys want to purchase this unit, Feel free to, <laughs> if you're like me and you don't know how to make no wigs, you like to find the wigs that already come made, okay? Made and then you slay, okay? Made and slay. Anyways, um, if you have any questions, something that you feel like I may have left out, feel free to comment down below. I do feel like I am missing something, but I can't think of what it is. So, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. If you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button. Also, if you're not already following me on all my social media platforms, I am Disastrous Beauty on both IG and Facebook. I am Hell to Miss C on Snapchat, and I am Disastrous B on Twitter. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.